Hi everybody, my name is Matt Elliott. I'm here at Guarantee RV Super Centers in Junction City, Oregon. Today to show you a fantastic trailer and I really have always loved this floor plan. It's a rear kitchen. And rear kitchens are awesome because if you can get the kitchen out of the middle of the trailer, you get a bigger kitchen and you get a nice open living space without a kitchen in the middle of it. So we're going to take a look inside and follow me. So what we're looking at is the Coachman 283 RKS. K being kitchen, rear, kitchen with a slide and you can really see what I'm talking about there's a tremendous amount of galley space in here there's a tremendous amount of storage lots of overhead lots of cabinet storage down here got nice drawers down here silverware and a lot of counter space now the beauty of this whole thing is that if I'm in here doing my mad scientist routine cooking and making things I'm out of the traffic pattern, but I'm not out of the action. All my friends are right here. We've got a really cool living space here. The other thing that's kind of cool about this design is that most people, when they say, I want two extra chairs, they want them in the back with the big windows here because that's what they're used to. But if you put them in the back with this huge window, you lose all the storage and all the kitchen capacity of this design. This has the seating and the panoramic window and all the great social area, but it's got a lot better kitchen. So that's why I love this design. There's also a nice pantry here. It's great. Got a booth dinette here, a couple of easy chairs, which I just mentioned. This makes into a queen size bed. It folds out three ways. It's actually a comfortable bed. It's not a horrible, torturous thing, which is uh, a, a big improvement over what we've had in years past. Right here, I want to point out that this has an electric fireplace. It's an option. And electric fireplaces are kind of like uh, one of the best things that's ever come into a trailer because it can really give off a lot of heat. This will heat up to 400 square feet. But it's not noisy like a forced air furnace. This does have propane heat and if you're dry camping you're going to need to use that but a lot of the time you have a hookup you can make really nice heat with this and it's quiet nice TV and home theater system as we come forward this is a side hallway and whenever you have a side hallway bathroom design you get a lot nicer bathroom you have this great shower here here let me get that little guy off of there a great big shower look at this now, I'm not a little tiny guy, but I got plenty of room and headroom and all around room in here. And it's got the enclosure so water doesn't go all over the place. It's also got a nice big linen closet, got a medicine cabinet. And we come in here, and this is the bathroom. So we have two accesses to the bath, to the bedroom, where people who are guests can come into the bedroom and I can still have some privacy. This is a good walk around bed. It's got lots of hanging storage, and look at the storage under here. That lifts up. There's a great big box under there right now, but there's a ton of room. Also, there's a huge front storage, which we'll see in a minute. So one of the things about the Catalina that I really, really like is that this is a sheet metal exterior. So many trailers today are made by laminating them together, and that's a way, and it's not a bad way. A lot of the rigs I have here are made this way, but they're more subject to weather. The fiberglass exteriors will eventually deteriorate in sun, and sheet metal doesn't. It lasts and lasts and lasts. So this is one of the great things about this exterior. They also went to an aluminum fender skirt. Look at a lot of trailers that have been around a while. These plastic skirts will weather, they'll get sun damage, they'll crack due to cold temperatures. This is impervious to weather. Great rig. Cool feature on this, on the back, it's pre-wired for a backup camera. So there's an option where you can have the video in your car that you can look at and see what's behind your trailer as you're backing up. That's a really cool feature. Come on this way. So what I want to show you here is that this is a very traditional slide mechanism. It's called a rack and pinion. You can look underneath and you see these bars with these little gear teeth on the bottom. They don't use any hydraulics, pulleys, or cables. They're very solid state, and they're the most reliable type of slide out, and, and have been for a long, long time. And they give you a taller slide out because the slide mechanism is below the floor instead of above the floor. So it really makes a difference there. Great ground clearance on this rig, great access to your sewer systems. In the front, we see the big bottles, the power tongue jack, 
And right here, this is great. The front of this whole trailer is sheet metal, just like the sides. The front of the trailer is the weather end of the trailer, and an awful lot of rigs you see, there's just an expanse of, of fiberglass material on the front. But this right here isn't going to wear out or weather. It's a really, really good trailer. I'm really just giving you a thumbnail sketch. There's a lot more to talk about on this rig. So if you've enjoyed the video and you want to stop by and see the rig, or if you have any questions at all, I want you to feel free to call me. My name is Matt Elliott, and my number is 541-954-8495. Thanks a lot. You have a great day.